20 minutes of nonstop news begins with new video showing the moment a row house went up in flames. Hours after, more than 150 gallons of gas were found stored inside. Thanks for being with us this afternoon. I'm Tracy Davidson. I'm Jacqueline London. Crews removed dozens of containers filled with gasoline from this house last night, but they were back this morning when that house caught fire. NBC 10's Deanna Durante is live in West Philadelphia to walk us through just what happened here. Deanna. Yeah, a really uh, wild night for people who live on this block of North 59th Street, the 100 block. You can see fire heavily damaged three homes here. Those three row houses there. The one in the middle is where that fire broke out, and the other two homes are severely damaged. A family of seven living in one. Neighbors are rallying to support them, but they also say they are angry because this, they say, should not have happened. And that fire spread so fast, you could barely knock on the doors. You see people rushing across the street, and you see how fast it burned. It breaks my heart. It really is sad. Quentin Peters, he burned the house down. This fire followed a long night for folks who live along the 100 block of North 59th Street. Last night, they smelled gas. This was an uh, uh, incident last night at this uh, address with our, our hazmat uh, HMAU unit uh, removing uh, approximately 154 gallons of uh, gasoline uh, last night. The gasoline was stored in milk jugs and in bags from Wawa. Many wondered why it was in a home that Ellen I had deemed unsafe, a home that caught fire in March. The man who was responsible for the property, police say, was questioned about the gas last night and let go. He was sitting there with a can of 211 beer and just sitting there calmly talking out loud to everybody who was listening. I came on in the house. He burnt the house down. Did you talk his He burnt the house down. Then hours later, the inferno erupted. When I spoke to the girl. She was thankful that her house wasn't, and nothing happened and nobody was hurt last night. Come out this morning, she's in tears because her house is no more. And it's just terrible. Now, again, the neighbors working to help that family, uh, included in that family, two infant twin boys. Neighbors were rallying, trying to find clothes for the family. As for the man who's responsible for the property, no word yet if Philadelphia police are talking to him at this hour. We can tell you that the police department, the fire marshal's office, and the ATF now all joining this investigation as to how this fire started. Reporting live in West Philadelphia, Deanna Durante, NBC 10 News. We knew something was wrong last night when the call came into our newsroom, 154 canisters of gasoline, and then this today. Deanna, thank you for that update for us. The NBC10 investigators have been digging into the history of this property. We'll tell you what they uncovered coming up all new tonight at 5 o'clock.